my own Since I can't remember hey, going? This uh, week I'm going to be doing some stuff about doors. And so if you're doing a bus conversion, maybe, uh, worry, you know, get, wanting some ideas about how you can deal with your doors, uh, you might find it useful. It's a little kind of mixture of footage. Some of the stuff I was working on last summer, some of it more recently getting ready for winter. And uh, so I think, figured I'd just put it all together um, as one subject. So uh, stay tuned. Hope you like it. Well, let's start with the back door. I installed, uh, this is a garage door. So I installed it flush, and what I wanted was to be able to open it from the outside or lock it from the outside, open it or lock it from the inside. So you can see on this side, I've got this, which comes back here. Let me see, get a shot of that. So let's see how this, when you shut the, open the door, this thing comes back. When you close the door, it goes like that. So the way this works is this piece comes down like this. You try to open the door, it hits against the uh, bolt there. And actually, uh, now the problem with this was I had some kid, um, the door was locked and he wanted to get in. He's like, oh, I'm a ninja. And he pulled on it and it just broke the lock. So this might actually even be a little wimpy. You want to put something better in here. But if you do this, you probably want to have a, a backstop here because otherwise somebody can just come outside here and just ream on that and it's just going to break it. I should probably give it a test. Uh, but you know, if somebody really wants to break into your bus, they're going to do it. And this at least prevents people from, uh, you know, maybe just opening that door and coming in. Moving on toward the front. Um, I'll show you this door where I fixed this door. It was broken at one point. So I'll show you that. Show you the video where I make this door. And this used to be a, an accordion door. But the accordion door now is in the front. And then on up to the front here. This used to be in the bathroom. Well, I'm trying to fix this uh, door. This is the bottom part. They worked pretty well until I had kids last year and they kind of kick on it and comes apart. And it's partly my fault because I'd cut the bottom of this thing off to make it fit. You know, I didn't fasten it back as good as new. Um, you know, and then that with kids kicking on it, they can't figure out how to open it so they just kick. Ugh. You're shoving it and kicking it and kicking it and kicking it and kicking it. Is it closed yet? Yep, it's closed. What kids do, and they don't know what to do, else to do. They kick something. What I thought I would try is I got this pine. I ripped it down the middle and cut it, and I'm going to replace those slats with just a solid piece of pine. This is my new Encore accordion door. You can see it's not not real fancy, but it's these are these are plastic, but they're about maybe half inch thick, something like that. <clears throat> and here's the door I replaced. This one just fell apart and I had to replace it. So I would not buy one of these. This was a cheapo. I bought it at Home Depot. It was the cheapest one they had. It was like $25. I don't remember what brand it was. This is an Encore. This one was about $60. This one's much better made. Um, you know, that you can spend quite a bit of money on these things. So we'll see how this one holds up. This one didn't really hold up too well. And then over here I have this bifold door that I also got at Home Depot. I know it's going to get dark when I close it. I replaced this because it just broke apart. What would happen is I had little kids, you know, in here sometimes and they have trouble opening the door and they'll start kicking it and that blows the slats out and kind of pulls it apart. And that's what happened to it. So I wanted to try and fix it. I just cut those slats out and put in a piece of pine, uh, one by eight I think it is. 
one by ten, whatever, and cut that to fit, and barathaned it, and so far, I was able to salvage this door, give it a new life. So I'm going to put the accordion door, it's on the bathroom, in the front, and I'm going to make a, another bifold door for the bathroom. So, it just so happens the area I need is perfectly fits to uh, 1 by 12s. And I've got this bifold door hardware. I'm going to see if I can avoid making a frame. You know, I may be sorry later. Normally you'd have a frame and then, then this part would be in the middle. And I'm going to try and avoid that just because these two pieces fit perfectly. Um, see how this will work. I just got a two by a one by twelve, and I'm just kind of framing it in around the outside like this. And I think this will work. Okay, it's just a bathroom door. So I'm putting this together. Put the hinges on first, and these are the kind you don't mortise. And then we got the other side on. Now there's this piece up here that goes across the top. This is the pivot point here, fixed to the wall. And I need to cut this to fit the spot. And I cut that off with my grinder using a cutoff wheel. And uh, now I think I'll drill another hole there. And this goes on the top. There's a piece kind of sort of like this that goes on the bottom, which you'll see in a minute. And uh, then I drill holes for the, the little uh, pegs. Okay, so it goes across like that. This is the pivot point here, so the door will open, you know, out this way and fold against this part. And then this can be adjusted by turning this screw in and out. And then there's there's a fitting that goes in there, and there's another one that goes on the bottom, and then a roller that'll roll through here. That's what we'll see in a minute. Wasn't able to hold the camera and do it at the same time, but it's pretty easy. You put this part in first, and it's kind of like a toilet paper roll thing. It's springy. Pop that in first, and then the bottom goes into the pin there, and then this roller, same thing, it's on a spring. You push the roller down and pop it in the track. So this um, needs to be, you can see it's a little off. This one, I can, I'm just going to loosen this screw here and push this back a little bit. You can put a handle on it. It's, it really makes more sense to put the handle on the inside. Because then people don't know how to open it. All right, so if you put the handle like right here. Pull that, kind of like I have this one. So there's a kind of a knob thing that came with it, but I think I'm going to get one, a handle like this instead. Cool. So it seems to work. It's a little, not quite as pretty as the store-bought one, but uh, it'll be all right when I put some Verithene on it. And of course I made it kind of the, the poor man's way, just uh, one by 12 and put these this framing around it. And see, instead of this way, you can see this one, the way this one was made, the store-bought one, was made with a frame. And then the, the inside panel goes in between the frame. So, I didn't, uh, I didn't do, the one I made, I didn't do it that way. Well, here I'll show you something uh, cool. 
I had this DeWalt toolbox I got a while back, and I like it a lot, except it did not come with a tool tray up here. I don't know whether it's supposed to or not. Maybe I should have gotten one, but I didn't. I don't know, but it, it didn't come with one. You can see it's kind of got hooks for one, but it, I didn't get one. Um, anyway, I had this, this tray here, left over some long lost thing that's long broken, laying around, and um, this almost fits, but it falls just a little bit short here. So I'll show you what I did. Remember that uh, part I cut off the uh, the rail for the accordion door? Well, there it is right there. And uh, I screwed it on the end there. And now this thing fits perfectly. Cool, huh? Well, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good week. And I will catch you next time. Later.